Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. It's uh, Sunday morning, and I probably won't uh, upload this till maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. I already threw one out there at you today. I don't want to. I don't want to overwhelm y'all. So, uh, but I'm heading down to. Uh, yeah, it's a busy road right here. Let me get on the road. Yeah, I stopped to put the camera in the holder. Get it going. Let's see if I got it cocked the right way here. Yeah, I'm heading down to church this morning. It's not far. It's uh, down on the uh, north side of Azel, on our side of Azel which I'd say it's probably a total of about 10 or 12 miles to get to the church that I go to. Just a small, it's a small, small church. It's called River of Grace Fellowship. And uh, I'll tell you a story about it as we get a little closer down there. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be another hot one. It's, uh, Let's see, what time is it? 10, it's like 10, 12. The church starts at 10.30. But, uh, and it's already showing uh, 96 on my, these, my truck temperature gauge though, for the outside temperature, I think it runs a little bit hot, a little hotter. It shows a little hotter than it actually is. I was, I've been sitting out on the porch of Calvin's house with uh, Blanca this morning. Uh, you know, of course, I was in the shade, and it's, it was very comfortable. A nice uh, breeze blowing out of the south. I try to stay outside in the mornings. When I get up, whatever time I get up in the mornings, I immediately turn my air conditioner off in my RV, in my trailer, just trying to, trying to save energy, you know, and uh, even though my son is on, they have the uh, solar panels on their roof, you know, it, uh, I mean, energy is energy, so if everybody saves, saves it, then we won't have those. Uh, here in Texas, they, they've had the rolling blackouts where they'll cut your power off, you know, so the grid can catch up. And uh, that's not any fun. I'll tell you what, especially when you're in an RV. Uh, there's no way Blanca could go right now without air conditioning if she's in the RV uh, with her breathing. So we, we would go in the house if we did have a blackout. Of course, air power would be out too, but it's much cooler in the house. Those RVs are not in that, you, you know, just think about it, uh, how thick the walls are. They're, there's no insulation in them at all. So it's like being in a, in a tin can, you know. It's, uh, they heat up real fast, and in cold weather, they, they get cold real fast. That's the life I'm choosing right now, so you just... You just adapt to what you got to do. But, uh, yeah, there's a little, there's one little community up here that we're going to pass through between here and Azel. It's called uh, Briar. I turned this fan down on my air conditioner just when I started the video because it's noisy, but I'm going to have to kick it up a little bit here because it didn't get warm in this truck. And we're just at 10.15 in the morning. But, uh, I'll just talk a little bit louder. Yeah, it's a little community down here called Briar. We'll slow down when we go through. I think it drops down to 45 there. But it's going to be a nice day. This is the same road. This is, this is State Highway 730. Uh, we were on it the other day, my last video, I, the one I put out this morning, we were on it 
up in Decatur. This is a road I was telling you about. Lots of wrecks on. But uh, yeah, it's just the way people drive. But I, I talked about that last time. I won't, don't get me. You know, I don't want to get myself started on that again. Yeah, this is Briar right here. And we are. Uh, there's a big lake uh, just to the left of us. You can't see it from here, but uh, it's called, it's a big reservoir on the northwest side of Fort Worth called Eagle Mountain Lake. And I'll try to get over there and do some videos. I've, I've done a couple back when I used to live up here. Uh, there's a marina over there I remember doing a video at. I think it's called North Shore Marina, something like that. But uh, yeah, we're on the north side of the uh, Eagle Mountain Lake. A lot of lake houses over there. We'll, we can drive through some neighborhoods over there. But uh, yeah, there's not much to Briar. This is it. Got a Dollar General. But yeah, head on down here to church. Uh, the way I found this church was uh, a while back I did a video on telling y'all, uh, I think it was in February, I know it was in February, I was still out west, but uh, it was on the anniversary of when I had this wreck up here, when I lived up here before, I had uh, just about a head-on collision with a, guy, a drunk guy, and uh, the make a long story short, uh, that's the way I found this church. It was, the wreck happened in, right in front of, a, of another church called Brandon Cross. And uh, the pastor in, at Brandon Cross Church at that time is the same pastor that I have here. Uh, it's really good. I like listening to him. But those guys came out and helped. It was on a Monday evening. They were having a rehab meeting. They came out and helped me get out of the truck. My truck had rolled over once. And uh, they helped me and Blanca out of the truck and my other dog, uh, my ex's dog, uh, Lily. And none of us were really hurt. But uh, So I started going to Brandon Cross Church, which was over there on, close to here. And... Uh, and he left there, and so I just sort of followed him. He's been in a couple of uh, uh, different locations since then. But uh, so we got a, it's a small congregation. Uh, there's only 30 or 40 people that I see, you know, maybe. And, uh, but very good, so. You know, a lot of channels, don't talk politics or religion. I try. I, I'm not. I don't talk politics. I try to keep the channel positive, but I don't. I don't see anything at all wrong with talking about religion. You know that I go to church and believe in God and all that. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure not going to shy away from saying that. digging myself a hole here. I don't, you know, I don't want to go overboard on it, let's just say. So, anyway, yeah, there's a, there's a green light. How about that? Snuck through that one. We're in no hurry. It, uh, it doesn't take long to get down here. The biggest thing would be finding a place to cut this video off at. And then after church today, I think I'm going to stop. Uh, we'll pass it here in a little bit. It'll be on the right, so you all probably be able to see it. Uh, we usually get out about noon. Or we actually, we get out a little bit before noon. It, the service usually lasts about an hour. But uh, there's a restaurant down here called 
Grand Toritos. And uh, I've eaten there quite a few times. And I think I'm gonna stop and it's right here on the right. It's this uh, sort of yellowish building right there. I think y'all can see it. And I stumbled across what they have. Man, it's good. They have a, a ceviche tostada. And, you know, tostada, uh, chalupa, uh, there's different terms. For, it's all the same thing to me. You know, it's on a fried tortilla, or a corn tortilla. They're fried, and crispy, and, the, you know, uh, what they do, they load it up with uh, ceviche, which I guess most of y'all are familiar with. Oh, this is where I turned. Man, I didn't know it was that close to the restaurant. Way to go, geezer. You, you about screwed up here. You almost missed your turn talking. Now, that wouldn't be a first. But they, uh, they, you know, you fry a corn tortilla and get it crispy. And then they load it up with uh, ceviche, which is white fish that's cooked without, uh, how do you say more says? Uh, it's cooked without any uh, heat. The fish is cooked with, uh, they put it in lime juice, lemon juice, and the acid cooks the fish. And I'm sure I'm not telling most of y'all anything you don't know already. Here's the church already. See, it's just a small building, River of Grace. So we'll pull in here. I didn't know I was gonna talk all the way until we got here. I did. But anyway, they make this, and it's big, and it's only like about $3.50. So I get a, I get one of those, and then they've got a really good, uh, here in Texas, they call them uh, bar, uh, barracho beans. And barracho in Spanish means drunk. drunk. A bar, if you call a person a barracho, it's not very nice to call them a drunk. Because a lot of times the beans are cooked in uh, in beer. But uh, the, the main difference in borracho beans here in Texas is it's the whole bean. It's like a bowl of beans. Uh, the refried, uh, refried beans are what you're going to get in a Mexican restaurant here in Texas unless you specify you want borracho beans. Anyway, that's your uh, Mexican uh, cuisine lesson for this morning from uh, the geezer. But, uh, so I'm here at the church, guys, and I'm sitting here burning fuel. So I'm going to let y'all go. And, uh, peace be with you. Stay blessed. And uh, stay positive. Stay on the positive side, guys, one day at a time. Thank you all for watching my videos. I sure appreciate it. Uh, I'll be throwing some good stuff at you pretty quick. We'll be talking at you later, amigos. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.